Okay, I'm heading to the thrift store. I'm gonna take you guys with me. It's a Saturday, which I don't usually, actually sometimes I thrift on Saturday mornings. It just depends. So we'll see how today goes. Sometimes it's really busy, so hopefully I can still get some good like film footage for you guys. But I've been getting a little bit better about filming in the thrift store, so it's not so weird for me. So we'll see how it goes. I just realized I left the house with my sandals on. I wear these around so my feet don't hurt. I was like, oh no, I'm so stupid. So whatever, I'm gonna look kind of ghetto today. Okay, I'm here a little early before they open, which is good. I like to be the first one in a thrift store. So what am I looking for today? I've been selling a lot of swim shorts, um, dresses. So shorts, I've been selling a lot of Judy Blue and American Eagle. Swimwear, I've sold Land's End. Uh, Miracle suit is really good for swimsuits. Dresses, I don't know. There's literally so many. So um, probably maybe some sandals too. I sold some Birkenstocks recently. I sold some Bionics, um, other comfort brands are like Nayote. That does good for me sometimes, Fit Flop. So we'll see what we can find. If it's a really good like winter fall item though, I'm still gonna get it. So I'm gonna wait here a little bit until they open and then I'll take you guys with me inside. Do you guys ever go stand in front of the door while they open it? I only do this if it's like a good sale, but I better head in. Okay, I found all of this stuff on the new rack when I came in, including this new Skins corset. So I need to look everything up before I decide, but I'll show you guys sometime soon or at the end. So I'm gonna go to the shoes next. Luckily, there's hardly anybody here right now, so I don't feel too weird talking to myself, but kind of because I feel like everybody's hearing everything. Here's some Sorrells, but they're kind of beat up. I don't know if I should get them. They're ten dollars. This one's not as bad, like on the back. I feel like that one's like, ugh. I don't know. I don't know if I can fix that. They're probably not gonna sell for like six months. I don't know if I feel like paying ten dollars for those right now. That is some kind of CrossFit shoe, maybe. Oh, Cross Trekkers. Okay, I don't think that's anything. Let's see, these have been here forever. This is the style of Dance Ghost. It doesn't do as, as good as it used to. Um, and then there's a lot of wear right there, so that's why I'm not gonna grab those. These are just Skechers, which don't do that great. Here's some cowboy boots, Old West for 10. That's not a brand I really like to pick up. So let's head over to the women's shoes. I never look at hats, do you guys? Here's some nude jeans. Oh, it's just Target. Okay, there was a worker over there organizing all of the shoes and I didn't want to like bother her, but I didn't find any shoes in the women's section. This brand used to be good and then it started getting sold at Kohl's. That actually kind of looks cute, but what's that, belts? This is it's leather, but I don't sell belts that great. So it'd have to be something like really good for me to pick up. Swimsuits are over here. So let's see if anything looks good in there. Blue is the new color. So I'll definitely want to focus on blue, but if there's other items that are like different colors, maybe I didn't see it before. I'll still look at those. These ones that have no tags are probably just Shein or something not worth much. This is hard to do with one hand. Let's see how much I can put in here. That looks like a bodysuit. Mm. 
Here's a pair of Spanx. Size medium shapewear shorts, but I don't know if these do that good. I might look them up. Oh wait, they're new with tags. Crap, they're $17. And a worker came over right when it looked like I was talking to myself, so that's probably slightly embarrassing, so I'm gonna walk away. But they probably knew what I was doing since you could clearly see a camera. <laughs> um, anyway, those Spanx shorts were not worth $17. Okay, I'm gonna look through all the stuff I got in the new rack and see what's worth it. New with tags, Athleta for $7.99. Lululemon shorts. Judy Blue. Just like I said I wanted. I'm putting this back. It's a new with tags J Crew, but sold comps are not good. Not really a good sell through rate either. Okay, the dreaded black paint section. At least it is for me. Because I feel like, I don't know. You have to pull down every single thing. It's hard to see the different color tags. But sometimes you can find really good stuff. So it's worth it sometimes to look through this section. You just have to be patient. Sometimes Duluth trading is okay for me. But I've had to be pretty picky with it lately. Stuff sitting longer than I would like. Ooh, this is a really good brand. Honey Love. And even the new color tag. That means people have been missing this for at least a week. I've sold some other shapewear for really good money. See? Worth it to go through the black pants. I'm telling you. Okay, I found these new L.L. Bean Capris. For eight, I'm gonna look them up. Okay, I'm going to type in LL Bean Vista Camp Crop Pants because that's what these are. I'm not gonna put the color or size or anything like that. And then I'm going to search. I am going to filter by condition to put new with tags because I think that would make a difference on these. And there are five available new with tags. So now I'm going to filter to sold to see how many have sold in the last 90 days. Four have sold, so that's almost 100% sell through rate. I think I'm gonna grab them because I think it's a good time of year. So I feel like the light colored pants are just easier to look through. Okay, so I do still get soft surrounding sometimes in plus sizes, but the pants don't seem to do that good for me. So I'm not grabbing those. Okay, I'm almost done with the pants section. I have this and then that aisle, and then it'll go into jeans and shorts. These seem very wide, okay, but there's nothing special about them, so I'm not gonna grab those. That's really old American Eagle. I don't know, Union Bay, that's sold at Kohl's. These feel like somewhat quality, they're just Old Navy, although I'm trying to look, because Old Navy makes tall sizes, and I, need tall sizes any stuff in like a small tall now or a six tall so i wish those were tall because they're really cute and soft but they're not american eagle joggers i don't think so those are just cheap dress pants these are cute from target but i don't really sell target 
it's not worth that much in my opinion, although some people have heard can sell it close to retail, but I do not have that experience. So I do not pick it up. Every once in a while I look at like the Target collabs with like designers, but most of the time those still aren't worth it either. My freaking memory card died. I found some blue lemons. Um, see, I can tell right there. They're crop, but they're like wide legs. They're also really like animal fur. So I'm gonna try to figure out the style and see if they're worth it. Okay, let's go short section. Those are anthropology, but they're kind of like, I don't know. I don't know if they would do that good. I guess I'll check them since I'm trying to put shorts in my closet, but I don't have a good feeling about them. So we will see. I'm also looking for some Nike shorts for myself, although those are like, make sure those are kids. Or some other cute shorts. Zara shorts that are new. I think I'll grab these because I feel like those are like actually super cute. Okay, yay. Let's see what else? That's old. LEI, whatever that is. It's freaking old. Not worth it. Old Navy. Those are old American Eagle. Loft. And basically, you don't ever get loft every once in a while. Something new. But it's not very often. Target, Gap, Bailey. Where is it even sold? Two little table. Alright, I'll go through the rest of these and see what else I can find. Okay, I just made some announcement about a raffle giveaway for a gift card in free cookies and water. So I'm gonna head up there because. Okay, I got my free cookie and water. And they're gonna draw again. They said in 45 minutes for a Goodwill gift card. So I'll update you guys if I get anything. These are the Absolution, but that's a little bit too small of a size for me to pick up. So I'm going to leave those behind. I don't know what that is. 10, 10. Locked. No, Arizona. Old Navy. Um, I know I say it all the time, but I sell democracy jeans. I sell Judy Blue jeans, Abercrombie jeans. That's what I would be looking for. These are some older Levi's. 512, you can tell because of that paper tag. I don't know how those do. I'm gonna look them up because some of the older Levi's can still do good. They were not good, the jeans. So I put them back. I'm looking here through these extra large sweaters, long sleeve shirts, cardigans. Uh, that's Michael Kors, actually Michael Michael Kors. Sometimes somebody's like, oh yeah, if they're bigger sizes, it'll still sell. Not for me. I tried that. So make sure you like do your own research and figure out what works for you because what works for somebody else isn't always going to work for you. Mac Studio is like decently expensive. It just does not sell good. This is like Walmart or Target Disney, so I don't pick that up. Unless it's like something cute graphic that I just want for myself. Rose and Olive. I don't know where that's from. Who is Jack's girlfriend? Chico's. Hardly ever get. Too bad that's not a Saint Laurent. Eva Franco? That's an anthropology brand. 
I think. So let me look this up. Okay, we're into the plus size. So let's see if we can find anything here. Notations. I don't even know what. Okay, this is a good brand, but I don't know because it's just a basic t-shirt and it has a stain on it. So, uh, I don't know if they have style numbers. I don't think they do. So I might just look up the great, like, cream long sleeve t-shirt. It's just a cotton. Um, but I don't know if it's going to be worth it. Let me see. I'm realizing as I'm getting to the end of this video that maybe those hangers are too screechy. So if I'm talking while I'm thrifting, then you can hear the hangers a lot. I don't know if there is a trick for getting my voice to be louder than the hangers. I don't know what that brand was, just some random vintage brand. Maybe I would've thought about it at Christmas. So anyway, um, let me know if those hangers were super screechy the entire first part of the video. I'm sorry, and I will try the two better next time. Um, I just thought it would be easier if I could talk while I'm thrifting because in real time is like what I'm thinking at that time and I feel like that's better or like it could be more helpful. So I don't know. I'll see what I want to do for the rest of the video. I might still put in what I originally said and you guys let me know about the hanger sound. Okay, still going to look through the coat and jacket if I find something really good. Take it home with me, so we'll see. I did pick up a North Face buffer recently. Fashion bag, I don't know where that's for that. So, when the guy has been trying to give out the raffle tickets for the giveaway, I've been hearing multiple people like say no thanks. I don't know why. It's a Torrid 4X zip up jacket, but my. No, just lately when I've been getting stuff and toys, even in larger sizes, if it's not like super on trend in season, it doesn't do that good. Okay, what is this? Because it has a dry cleaning tag and like, I don't even know what that is, but like a dry cleaning tag can mean something good. I don't know. Should I look it up? I don't even know how to look it up though. Like, is there an RN number? Okay, let's see. Oh wait, this tag looks like somewhat familiar. It's a linen blend. What is this? Okay, I'm gonna do some research on this in a minute. Let me finish looking through here. So anyway, I could have a good chance of winning the gift card if hardly anyone's taking it. But I think a couple more people have come in since then. So, we shall see. Old Navy, Guess, I don't know what. The only thing I picked up recently of Guess was a vintage purse, but not really any of the clothing. Okay, that jacket was just Banana Republic, so not worth it, I put it back. Okay, and this sweater's like, uh, size medium, I guess. That kind of looked like barefoot jeans, but I probably wouldn't have got that anyway because it is not doing that good. Surprisingly, there's not a ton of people in this store, which is nice because I'm able to talk while I'm looking, which will be easier for me when I go to edit this video. I do have some random people walking by me. So I'm trying to just like ignore that <laughs> and get more comfortable just talking and filming in the thrift store because what are they really gonna do? Give me a weird look? So what? I don't really care what people think of me that much, so that wouldn't really bother me. Okay, short sleeve shirts, what is this brand? Like head, a tennis brand? I don't know, but 
So normally in like the winter, I don't tend to look through short sleeves as much just because it's not gonna be bought very often and they just don't sell for as much money for the most part. But in, okay, that's <laughs> funny. Um, in the spring summer, I feel like even though they sell lower, I have to get in the t-shirts and the tank tops and the swimsuits because otherwise I'm not going to be able to sell as much. So I do look through it. It almost looked like a Lululemon like, wait, is it? Oh, it is. It is. It is. Huh. Okay. I'll grab that. I don't know why that like confused me. Cause like the size is behind, I guess, for the rip tag would be. Okay. I do not have a good feeling. I do not have a good feeling about new carts being brought out. These are the, still the same ones from this morning. And wait, I already went down this aisle. And anyway, it's like one person putting away and she is not fast. So I don't know if I'm gonna get any more new carts before I leave. I really hope so because there was such good stuff on the first one. But unless they get some more workers all of a sudden, it is not looking good. Okay, plus size, short sleeves. Catherine's, I've been actually starting to sell pretty decent. This is new with tags. In a size 3X or 4.99, and actually green's the half off color, so it would be 250. I don't know. I feel like that's cheap, but I feel like that's like not that cute. Uh, okay, I'm gonna think about it. I'm gonna look up like Catherine's pink crop cardigan. We will think about that one. If it was like a longer cardigan or like some beading on it or something, I'd probably be more likely to pick it up. I see a new cart at least, which sometimes there's shoes in. But I feel like it's a lot of stuffed animals. I spot some possibly fake blueberry sandals. <laughs> We're gonna assume these are fake. Uh, what? No freaking way, dude. Are those real? Are these real? Are these real? I don't know. Ooh. Okay. I gotta do some research on that. If those are real, holy crap. Here's what I was talking about with a lot of like stuffed animals, hula hoops. Okay, so let me go somewhere and do some research on these burger examples. Okay, I figured it out. Made in China. Ugh. Okay, that sucks. The other ones that I were looking at, it said it inside the footbed, the real ones. And these ones don't, so they're fake, sadly. Okay, actually I don't know because now I was looking up online and it said sometimes Burberry can be made in China, but I just, I don't think they're real. But is it worth getting just in case for $4? And if they're not, I can just sell them like as dupes. I'm spending my entire morning in this store. We're meeting for lunch at noon at Olive Garden. It's 11 o'clock, so I have 35-ish minutes left. I haven't gone through the dresses yet. And then I might look through the bras and like stuff just because I found those Honey Love leggings and they make like shapewear and bras too. And if I find those, those are like worth good money. So I might just like look through and see really quick but lately I just haven't been selling bras because after a while they just started sitting for me and not really selling for that much so hasn't really been a priority oh did you guys see that I was like oh oh no that's depressing what the frick is story all right let me look through the rest of this section here Okay. Let's see. Here's my number. 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 Here's my number.
Okay, that person's not coming forward, so they might draw again. Maybe I have another chance. Kind of stalking this girl because she got some vintage Doc Martens she's trying on. I'm very jealous. She's putting them back, so I think I'm gonna try to get them. Sorry. Okay, I went through basically every section that I normally go through, so I'm gonna check really quick on these um, dressing room racks that people have tried stuff on, and then I'm gonna check out and we'll do a haul in my car. Okay, that was like the best trip I've had in one store in a long time, so let me show you what I got. Here's my raffle ticket, I didn't win. After I kept filming those, I think they called like five people. And somebody finally won, but it wasn't me. So, okay, here's the newer Abercrombie tag I was telling you guys about earlier. This one's, it would be better if it said Curve Love under here because those seem to sell better. But this is still a pretty good style. The 90s Slim Straight Ultra High Rise. Probably not going to get much more than like 30 for these. But we'll see. It's a nice medium wash jeans. I'm going to have to like figure out what I'm going to do with all these. Because I have so much. Probably just throw it in my back seat. Um, same. Same style same size so if it's the exact same wash and everything i could just list it as a multi-quantity on ebay and poshmark you can put in if you have more than one of them and then you don't have to make like separate listings so i might be able to do that with them but we will see next up are these new athleta pants i don't know what it looked like when i was sorting through my cart because i didn't have my like camera flipped open but anyway so new with tags these are brooklyn ankle pant i love selling these these are 99 dollars Originally, this Goodwill had them marked at $7.99, so that's amazing. And they're a plus size, they're in a size 26. Um, and they are a purple, very lightweight, ankle pants. So that was a great score. I need to turn on some air conditioning in here. The sun is coming in. And then we have another pair. These ones are not new with tags, um, but I think it's the same style. The Brooklyn Jogger. These are the Brooklyn Joggers. The other ones were Brooklyn Ankle. These ones are in a size 24 and they are navy blue. So I'm gonna have to look up the self, or not the self through, the comps for this size because I sell a lot of the Athleta Brooklyn joggers or pants, but size sometimes does make a difference on how much you can sell it for. Um, I did end up getting these Sorrells. I left the other ones behind that I showed you on camera, but these were in a new cart. So this is the Sorrell logo if you're a new reseller. These ones look like they're in better condition. They're a wedge suede like ankle boot and they were only charging $8 for these. Um, they are a size seven and a half. So we will look those up. I do have some like UGG suede cleaner that I could use if I want to, to try to clean that up. I don't know if I will. We'll see what I feel like. Um, and then I did grab those Doc Martin boots from that girl. I saw her trying them on, but I don't think she was a reseller. And I was like, please. And they're the vintage ones. You can tell because they said made in England, which do seem to do better. So just a like good classic pair of brown leather Doc Martens. They do have some wear, but that's to be expected. I don't know if I can find a size. That's going to be the interesting thing with them being vintage. I don't know if I'm going to be able to find that. If I'm not, I'm going to have to do some measurements. But I've sold shoes like that before. I just literally sold some the other day Manolo Blonix I just did measurements and it worked out yeah I don't see a size in here so I'm probably gonna have to do that I don't know if I'll be listing them as men's or women's I feel like they'd be a smaller men's and a larger women's so we will see what I decide to do for that and then I'm still trying to figure this out with these Burberry I got them just in case in case they're real so I looked online and it was like this girl was like I searched Burberry sandals made in China and she had a Reddit post about, I'm really disappointed in the quality of Burberry of these Burberry sandals. And she showed the inside of here and it said made in China and she ordered hers like off the website. So I'm like, are they real? Like they have a little bit of like a scuff or something here, but still I got them just in case. I'll see if I can clean that off because if they are real, it's going to be amazing. If they're not, I'll just list them as like summer, 
checkered slide slip-on sandals you can't you're not supposed to even put in like burberry dupe or anything like that you could put dupe but not like use the word burberry if it's not real um so i'm still figuring this out if you guys have any insight please let me know could be amazing could not be amazing okay next up we have another pair of athleta pants these ones are a size eight and they're like this black and gray with a paper bag waist, um, relaxed fit jogger pant. They're super cute. They're the Savannah jogger. So I decided to grab those. They have some side pockets. I got the new with tags Zara shorts. These are a high rise and a size two. Um, because they're new with tags, if they're new with tag or if they were not new with tags, I probably wouldn't have gotten them. But since they were, I decided to grab them. Next, we have these Rolas. So this is a brand that's made in Australia. I have had some luck selling their jeans. Um, these are called the Dusters High Rise Slim. They're a size 26. So it says it right inside here, makes it super easy. Light wash, high rise distressed shorts. Exactly what I was looking for. I never could find the style of this Anthropology Ava Franco top, but I just decided to get it. Um, I found when I used Google Lens, I found a stock picture, but it didn't say the style name. It just like had descriptive words. So it's a size medium. It is a wrap top, which is kind of why I decided to get it. And it's a kind of a sheer uh, floral, like a little bit of a balloon sleeve. So I was like, oh, I'll try it. Um, I also got these Cole Haan shoes. These are in like new condition from the new cart. These are a size let me see if you guys ever see anything you want message me on instagram uh size five so there are a smaller size but there are small people in this world and then there's tall people like me i am 5 11 and it's very hard for me to find pants yay this is exactly what i wanted to find judy blue size small these are so cute um fringe i'm pretty sure i just sold this exact style for 43 dollars with free shipping on mercari um, they were a larger size last time, so, but I don't know. I might still listen for the same price and see what they do. Okay, let's go into my next bag. Hopefully no one's trying to ride with me after lunch because now I just have a pile of stuff. And yeah, okay. These are Lululemon shorts. They're a size 12, um, but they are a longer length. So I'm going to have to look up the style, maybe like a golf type short. I will use modest in my description since they're longer. The logo is right here, but I was like, I am not gonna pass up. Lululemon, um, they're an older style, but that's okay. I'm still excited to grab those. I got more shorts. These are Abercrombie and Fitch. These are the Mom Short High Rise in a size 14. So excellent size, just a nice medium wash cut off pair of shorts i got this shirt for my brother um this was on the new rack it's a peter millar size extra large i think for like the golf ones the peter millar summer comfort tends to sell better but i think he'll still take that he sells men's on ebay and poshmark um i did end up getting the soft surroundings in a plus size it's a soft surroundings 1x um red hoodie like athleisure loungewear stuff like that so i'm passing on a lot of it these days i used to pick up like almost everything but that was not a good idea because it wasn't selling after a while okay next here's that brand i found in the rack honey love so look for this logo when you're out i have sold shapewear bras from them that's done really good i've never sold leggings so i'm really excited to see how these do that also has the logo right back here on these they're a full length black high rise legging so that is really exciting i got some metallica cds for my nephew he's going to see metallica with my husband in august he's getting very into music and he's playing guitar drums ukulele bass like all kinds of stuff so i grabbed those for him next up we have that lululemon size 10 shirt this is a short sleeve just like basic shirt will probably sell around 20 to 25 dollars but i wanted to pick it up it does have an open back the logo right down here um but somebody should want that for like spring summer these ll bean pants did have a pretty good sell-through rate so i decided to grab them 
Plus it's very much hiking season right now. The Vista Camp Pant Crop. Size large, retailed for 60. So LL Bean is an outdoor brand. I don't pick it up very often. What I tend to get it in is like puffer coats, puffer vests sometimes, but these are gonna be worth it according to my research. I did end up getting this Catherine's cardigan. I'm like, you know what? Or like top, whatever you wanna call it. I think I can sell it for pretty good. Plus it was half off. If it wasn't half off, I don't think I would've got it. It's like a pink short sleeve, good for like layering or whatever. These, I did figure out what they were. I just looked up, um, it's those Burgundy Lululemons. I looked up on Poshmark like Burgundy Lululemon crop. My first issue is this knot is really tight. I just put it on my Instagram, but like, what do you guys use to get out these really tight knots? I saw people selling these for around 30 to 40, I think, or 30 to 35. So I did decide to grab them. I cannot find a size tag. I only see one zipper pocket back here, but I don't see a size dot in there. Um, let me check again. But I did, didn't see one the first time. Yeah, I'm not seeing one again. So. I might have to measure, I don't know if there's any more pockets on here, but once I get that knot out, I'm going to do a major lint roll and we are going to list these probably around 35 to 40. So that was good. Here's that black, kind of like a sweater blazer. This one might be called like the collarless. They have like collarless ones. It's a size large, um, but yeah, these styles always sell really good for me. So I was excited for that. And then the last item could be good. I saw two sold comps on Poshmark. One was like low, and then one was like 150. It's this Skims corset. So here's what it looks like. Skims, very interesting, very interesting print. Um, it is a size extra small. It is the summer mesh corset in the color deco train. Oh, a train, I see it now, a train. So I'm gonna do some more research when I get home, but this could be something amazing. We will see. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I was really excited this trip was so good. I don't, I don't hardly ever find this much in one store anymore since I've been more picky. So this was amazing. I think a big plus to this was that I got to the thrift store right when they opened because I was able to look through the new racks before anybody else. So that was exciting. I'm going to head to lunch. I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.